Hello and welcome back to episode 100 part 2 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode, whilst a continuation on of the uh, dock slash pier, uh, this is going to be focused more on embellishing the uh, dock slash pier. But before I get started on that, first I want to apologise to Riven. Riven won the latest competition and uh, will hopefully be joining us on our server Irvine Vale. A huge well done to you Riven for um, becoming a goldsmith and winning that competition um, so quickly. I mean we was very impressed with that. So well done to you. That leads me on to another new competition. Um, the reason the competitions have started up again is because um, we want to try and maintain a good pop, uh, population within the uh, server here um, because some people obviously drift back and forth between different games so we want to try and continually keep up a few people with us on the server. So the new competition will be, and there's not going to be no time limit on this competition, it's basically whoever can show a picture of them creating a quality level 80 brick. So uh, for all you miners out there, this is a competition for you. And like I say, the winner of this competition will be the first person who leaves a comment saying that they've managed to make a 80 quality brick and giving us a picture as well showing their creation. So well done to you Riven on winning that last competition and here we are with a new competition. Hopefully you'll want to come and join us on Irvine Vale where and you'll be starting over there on Tutorial Island and maybe you'll want to come and visit these docks that we're now continuing with. So let's start by saying hello to Rainstorm Hi everyone! And Rainstorm has been um, creating this uh, building over here that's facing onto our dock. Uh, so I'll hand over to Rainstorm to explain what that was all about. Well since this is a, um, a continuation and it's on embellishing, we wanted to make the docks look more like a dock, so we built a building here. Um, on our seaport. We'll have a little shop in here um, inside the um, this little area here we'll have a kiln which will be another episode since Gamester hasn't shown that yet. Oh yeah. So that is. people can um, gather some clay here and create bricks. We may even have a brick shop on the dock along here um, for people that want to pick some of that up. So that's pretty much all I did. If you go in it's just a little one by one or two by one building and you could go upstairs and then we have a little um, balcony out front where we're gonna store barrels and some other embellishments yeah I like the way you've done it with the rope fencing that's really nice yeah nice. and there's different ways you can put fencing up um, you haven't shown some of the wall structures and fencing yet so I didn't want to Put something up there that they haven't seen. Yeah, but an, um, but there's several different types that would look really nice there. Mm. Yeah, it's a nice touch uh, for the dock. Really, is it adds to it nicely. And I left the opening uh, where the kiln is because you know all the smoke's going up, so it's not gonna. Um, <laughs> you really don't want a roof in there. <laughs> so <laughs> I left it open. Yeah, I would have. <laughs> yeah, I know. But then it got a little smoky in there. Yeah. <laughs> right, so that's okay. pretty much all I did for the building. I did the archways and I, I put the um, the wooden floors because it makes it look like a step up on the on the dock itself. Yeah. It just kind of adds to it. Very good touch. I do like that. Now, of course, we just need to fill the uh, dock piers with items to make it look a little more embellished. So I'm going to go around and start laying some barrels and you tell me if you're not happy with where I'm placing all of this stuff. 
Oh, boy, it'll be fine. You know. I'll move it later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably will and all. Now, I was thinking if we just randomly place barrels and put some ropes besides them. Is that how you would see it on a dock? Well, that's how I remember it in Monkey Island and Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay. They have these barrels and ropes and nets and other stuff. So, just trying to keep with... Um, This of course is... Sorry, yeah, go on. <laughs> you made a boo-boo again. <laughs> Why? What? What did I do this time? Uh, I, no, I made a boo-boo. Oh. I, instead of uh, paving round cobblestone, I did it nearest corner to me, so... <laughs> Gotta fix that later. <laughs> you certainly have. Yep. I don't want our go viewers ahead. thinking we're on crack cocaine. <laughs> More like sugar. Yeah, or sugar. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, we have lots of barrels. I mean, five barrels. Scatter them <laughs> evenly. Don't put them all in the same yeah, place. Yeah, I'm just trying. I'm experimenting. Oh, as you're one, experiment. As okay. one does. I don't, I'm not sure that. where it should all go. I'm just sort of putting it down for now. Because I know that you will correct me <laughs> at some point. I know that you will have no hesitation in correcting me. <laughs> you are chief decorator or architect, so, you know, I realise that I am just the grunt in the caves. Can I move this barrel? You can move whatever you like. I'm Thank only you. putting them down. Your um, your taste is going to be much better than mine, I can assure you. I'm a miner. I mine. What can I say? Let's put that back a bit more. Can I give some uh, a tip to people? Yeah. Why not? That's what this is all about. Okay. Um, if you find that you're, you place something down and it's not square the way you want it, if you turn it clockwise or counterclockwise and then back, it should square up the way you want it. Oh, I see. So, yeah, move and then turn clockwise or anti-clockwise. Gotcha. Yeah, so so for like this example, this crate, if I placed it down and it was crooked like that, if I turn it back uh, counterclockwise, um, it should go back square. Right, I see. Okay. Go on, and are you going to do that? Or are we going to leave it crooked? We're going to have no. a crooked dock now. I'll, <laughs> I'll put it back. There you go, see? Yeah, thank you for that tip. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All, every little helps. Okay, so you see, I placed down, what, two or three barrels and already you, you didn't like what <laughs> I did. So, never mind. I told you I was going to do that. Yeah, and you've every right to. It's your constitutional right to correct me with the decor. Well, show them how to put the uh, lamps down at least. Yes. Or do you even know how to put the lamps down? Uh, do I yes. have to teach you that trick too? No, I believe I do. I believe I qualified out of the put the lamp down school. Do you, do you know how to put them in the corners, plant them in the corners? No, but you're going to show us. I'm going to first... Well, well, I can't really show you because... You're doing the video, so I'm going to have to tell you how to do it. Yeah, so you're going to tell me. Okay. Right, let's get a lamp, and let's start at the very tip. Now, you're all going to like this at home, I'm telling you. I'm not kidding you. I'm telling you you're going to like this. You're not going to like it yet, but you wait and see what we have in store for you. Anyway, right, how do I get this in the corner? Well, Are we putting it okay. in the corner? Okay, so see there's a in the corner here. It says tile corner? Yeah. Okay. What I want you to do is activate your lamp. Okay. Okay. Put your cursor over that corner. Yeah. Right click the corner and say plant. Ah, right. I thought it was iron, but still. Right, there we go. Perfect. And then you can turn it so it's like square if you want. 
I know Anchor hates it when I do angles like this. I like the angles personally, but he didn't <laughs> like them. So, so you tend to move them. And then um, don't forget you have to put tar in it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I shall. I think I've got some tar still, actually. Yeah, I have. How lucky is that? So, I'll go get you the barrel because you want to do something special with it. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll get you the special barrel. Right, that's filled. I will grab another lamp while you're oh, grabbing. Now I can't move with the barrel. I'll let you move with the barrel. <laughs> I'm carrying too much. It's all right. I'll get about 10 lamps put down in that case. That's fine. You carry on. <laughs> oh, no. Drop on the ground. Come on. Oh, there's too many things on the ground. All right, I'll just get you a little um, jar full instead of a whole barrel. All right, okay. Actually, do you have a jar? <laughs> um, on my wagon, I've got loads of stuff. Okay, I'll go get one while I've you're got doing about that. about everything you could wish for on that wagon. It's like a lady's purse. Although I don't carry one, it's like a lady's purse. You've got everything in there except the, for the kitchen sink, don't you? Yeah. I like to be prepared. Okay. Oh, here we go. I found it. I'm still looking for um, jars. Ah, uh, might be... Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, Found you it. see? Found I mean, I've got layers in layers. I've got containers in containers and like... I, I figured that out. Yeah, I've got all sorts in there. It's my moving junk pile. I wasn't <laughs> content to keep it by the forge. It's now with me all the time. The only thing missing that I will correct is my coffin at some point. That needs to be in there as well. You left uh, your coffin over at my place. Yeah, I like to have spares in case I, you know, in case I do a visit <laughs> one day and keel over. Right now, how many lamps are we going to put down each pier? Um, I guess that's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here, here's the little jar. Wow, there's the first. You actually said, I guess that's good without any modifications to what I've done. I'm right. not going to say. This is progress for mankind as we know it. Right, thank you. How generous. There's what you want to die with in there. Okay. So yes, that's what we are going to do with these lamps. Because I want to show you how awesome your dock, your pier can look with a little bit of effort. And don't worry about if you don't know about dye or painting. Because I've done an episode on it. And it's a good one. Okay, let's finish off dyeing these lamps. Yeah, all the idea behind this episode is showing you all the little touches you can make to your your docks and your piers. All the little things, you don't have to do them. The options are there for you. The idea behind this episode because in the last episode we showed you about the planting the putting down the wooden planks and the fencing whether it be rope or chain the different styles so you can either go for an old type of uh, old world medieval dock pier or you can go for a militarized one totally up to you so yeah this is this episode is just about giving you ideas for doing your docks your piers the added touches the embellishments and I thought what better than to actually show you with a nice colour scheme that you can do to it. Okay, this is our... I've run out of dye. Is it more in the barrel there? Yes. Right, thank I you. Just, I couldn't lift the barrel and walk over to you, so oh, okay. I have a little jar for you. Thank you. Okay. 
And there's ropes in one of those little piles there somewhere. Oh yeah, I'll do the ropes next. After I've done these lamps. Rainstorm was saying that this episode would probably only be five minutes long. Well, we probably went through the 15 minute mark already, I believe. <laughs> That's because you put the barrels in the wrong place. <laughs> Blame it on the barrels, why don't you? That's it. This is strange. I managed to dye one, two, three lamps with the first lot of dye. Then yes. I had to refill, and I've only managed to dye one lamp this time. Hmm. How strange is that? Worm forever does throws curveballs at me. Why on earth will it not let me paint this lamp? Do I really have to go fill up? I can't do. I've not. I've hardly used any. Are you sure it's not painted? No, it's I've definitely not painted. I have some that look like they're not painted, but when you right-click and examine, it actually has the color. Well, I'll just... I think it's because the dye color's changed. No, it hasn't. It's because I activated it. I don't know. Let's try it again. No, it's weird. Let's examine it then, like you say. And... It'll say it's painted, will it? It'll have, um, like, the red, green, blue... Um, Colors. What's missing? Um, no, it hasn't. So it's just peculiar. For some reason, it doesn't want to allow me to paint this uh, particular lamp. Let's place another lamp and see if it'll let me do that one. Let's try and dye the lamp paint the lamp before I even place it down. Yeah, that works. So I shall just do that now with the rest. It's good. I want to actually get problems whilst doing this and then show you how you, you the viewer, how you can get around the problem. So there we are with that lamp. I painted it before I planted it. With this lamp, let's try and dye it again. Yep, so all of a sudden it's allowing me to do it now. How weird is that? But there you go, there's a way around it. Just Yesterday I painted one and then I turned it and then the dye all disappeared off of it. So now, I don't know what's yeah. going on. When I planted this one, the dye has gone from it. Maybe if I turn it, the paint... No, I can't turn it. Yeah, there are some strange things going on here for sure. I can't even take it. It's not letting me interact with the lamp. I wonder Probably because the fence post is in the way. I was just thinking that actually. Oh well. Wait a minute, come here. Yeah, get round there this way. So let's try from this side. No, it's not that. So you can't paint them then plant them because the dye, unless it's just not showing up. I think it's just not showing up. Okay, well what I'm going to do then is I'm going to plant all the lamps, then I will paint them, then I will light them. And we will see. It's starting to get dark now, you could probably start lighting them. Okay, let's find my... steel and flint let's go through lighting them behold viewer how you can transform your docks in the most nicest way of course it's not properly dark yet but you see this dock when it does get dark and you've got a whole rainbow spectrum of colors to choose we just went with blue ah Okay, I've not put no tar in the rest of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm doing it all tonight. Okay, let's just combine it into a lump and fill these lamps up. And then I can light them.
Oh, yeah, that's looking really nice, that blue. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely this issue though of not being able to target the lamps. Uh, you just have to move around them. That's what I found you have to do. Keep walking around them until you get the right spot. Yeah, I think it's because the fences are in the way. Hmm. Still, not to worry. All's well that ends well. Or as Pompey said, all will be well before he had his, uh, lost his head. <laughs> you have to call this the lamp dance. Oh, there's the brick. I was looking for my last brick. It was on the ground still. It blended in with the round cobblestone. Don't ask me why. Mm. Oops. Oh yeah, everything's starting to glow blue now. Hmm. Except for that one lamp. <laughs> what lamp? The one that you can't get to. It's glowing yellow and no, not I've blue. I've got to all of them. I'll have a look. What have you done now? Or what have <laughs> I done now, I should say? No, I what didn't. crime have I committed against humanity now? I hit the wrong fence type. You're allowed to do that, that's okay. See, I'm only human, just like everybody else. We all <laughs> sticks. I swear that said chain, it was iron fence. Oh, the water is too deep. Now, don't tell me it's not going to let me plant this lamp. Come on, worm, behave yourself. Right, let's climb up here and try. Let's try this again. Fence, fire, chain. light. Hmm. Blue light. At least they're not like strobe lights. Or black That's light. right. Yeah. These are yeah, black lights. Oh, I'm dating myself. You're what? Dating. You're dating yourself. Is that some American saying that I have no understanding of? Probably. Meaning, I'm I'm talking about something in the past, um, not like I'm going out with myself. <laughs> that's kind of why, I, you know, I thought I'd let you explain that. I wasn't going to jump to any conclusions there. I must be standing on the brick, so there they are. Well, this the episode is definitely longer than five minutes. Well, yeah, uh, they're probably going to get bored watching this. <laughs> no, not at all. They're, See, look, they're getting white. ideas. I haven't dyed it yet. Cool, goodness okay. sake. Let me dye it before you call it yellow. Right, Why did you so. light it? Hmm? Why did you light it before you dyed it? I didn't it? even light it. That's the strangest thing. It just lit itself. I think because it became <laughs> night time, the lamps just come on. So maybe I haven't even got to light them. Maybe they'll just light themselves. I don't know. <laughs> you know, there's some strange and wonderful things happening, but at least they're all good. short one brick 
I'm actually two bricks because I made two booze. <laughs> Well, as long as we get enough so everyone gets the idea of what we're trying to do here, I think that's sufficient. Now, okay. is that one going to auto light? No, maybe not. So let's light that one. I definitely didn't light the other one. I'm sure I didn't. Maybe I'm losing it. Right, okay, let's grab some more lamps. It's possible. Yeah, it's quite possible. that for? Oh, um, for the chain link fence. Hmm. Oh, I can't turn this. Oh, there we go. Well, at least I'm showing how temperamental a uh, worm can be when placing items and showing that if you just move around a little, you can actually still do that. You see now in the distance we see Tutorial Island with its bright white lights and opposite we have blue lights. So I'm thinking over on that little island in the distance there, I'm going to have to have red lights. Is that the red light district? Yeah, and that would be the red light district over there on that little island. And <laughs> well, we can I hope that does, does that mean something different over there than it does here? No, and on the top of the hill, right at the top there, we're going to have the green light district. How about that? I will have the only colour co coordinated island there is for worm. How about that? What does red light district mean over there? It means there's an area covered with red lights. Oh, okay. And I best start <laughs> stop climbing. Well, I guess it means totally different over there. Uh, it <laughs> means the same, but for the sake of the younger viewers, I'll stick to the colours of the different districts. So we got our blue. Okay. Di this is the blue district, and I best grab some okay. more lamps. Oh, I seem to be moving slowly. Maybe I need to go on a diet. No, it's this armor. I think that's what it is that's slowing me down. I'm just not used to walking. That's what it really is. I'm used to being on my wagon. So why are you walking? Oh, I did have two barrels. One went inside the <laughs> crate. I was wondering where it went. <laughs> like, where did the, didn't I just drop one? Did you place your um, ropes around anywhere? I'm going to be doing. I let you if you if you don't mind doing them, that would be cool. I'm just still finishing off these lamps. I've got three more to place. I'll just do one rope, so at least it looks like I've done something. That's always got to be a good thing. The ropes look like um, the ships are going to dock. Now yeah, well, we are. They have to tie down how they have to tie down the ships. We'll be bringing some boats. I'm going to bring my boat over here. Oops. Thought I picked up some ropes. 
the boat that Dan built and the boat that um, Mike built. Your little green dinghy? Yeah. <laughs> dinghy can go in Pier 1 and uh, Dan's boat, that huge one, can go in the middle, I believe. <laughs> okay, what did I do with the ropes? Oh, there they are. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm losing it. <laughs> really like the stone with the chain fence. It looks like it should be for a castle or a fort. Mm, yeah, for a fortress. That's a port, for sure. Okay, well, we're missing one lamp over there, but you get the idea now. Look at how gloriously beautiful that looks, and it's not even proper dark yet. Okay, let's, okay, let's put down some ropes now. Where are the ropes? They're in the um, pile right next to the blue barrel. Right, thank you. Okay, let's drop some ropes down. Well, I hope this inspires everybody out there. Hmm. I think one rope is too little. Let's try putting. No, more. three makes it look like a pile. Does it? Yes. Oh yeah, it's not in the right place. <clears throat> um, but yeah, you get the idea. So that's a pile. Let's leave an odd rope down here, because I am odd. There we go. Of course, this should be more towards the side. Rainstorm will get that perfectly lined up. That is not one of my abilities, I'm afraid. Lining up items, as you've seen previously. Oh, no. <laughs> Unless it's a coffin. They I managed to get perfectly aligned. Oh, what am I doing? Let's just grab the whole stack. They're not that heavy. Right, okay, let's put some ropes down here. Yeah, I, I spent many a years straightening out his mess. Guards kindly inform you that you're not allowed to do that here. Alright, okay. What are you trying to do? Put some ropes down. Oh, is it in the building? I better give you permission. That's okay. Oh yeah, there's the ropes. The ropes aren't going where I want them, never mind. No, they tend to just go in a pile. You have to push them and turn them. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, I'll do that another time. We can come back and give it some finishing touches. Let's remove that brick. And let's put some ropes over here. Right, well, we got barrels, we got ropes, we got lights. So you there's, there's a really neat thing that looks like a fishing net. It's called a fish, um, a net trap, and you're going to show them later on how to make that, right? Yep, I'm going to do a traps episode. Okay, so 
there we are I believe they get the idea of how to do a lovely dock and pier now hope you can remember you choose whatever color you like at home you can do however you want this is only about giving you ideas I'm not we're not trying to tell you it's the right way we're not trying to tell you it's the wrong way we're just trying to say this is what you can do if you wish and there are many customizations that you can do you're all unique you all have unique ideas perhaps if some of you do go to the effort of making docks and piers that you will sh may leave a comment with a link to a picture of your creations and hopefully uh, someone will win the brick competition and come and join us and have their input as well do you want to say goodbye and then um, is there anything else you want to add before we go Rainstorm. Oh, you're going to do an episode on shop signs so we can put it out here and show everybody as well. Yep, that's okay. another episode. There's okay. lots of episodes still to be done. And but don't forget, you can even paint your buildings, not just the lamps, but you can paint your buildings as well. Hmm, I guess you could paint this one blue. <laughs> it's kind of blue now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they'd be able to tell. Yeah. Yes, they can. Yeah, actually, it's been painted already, so that's quite cool. During the day, it'll be white, and during the night, it'll be blue. Yes. Anything else? No, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And thank you for and helping. Good luck Marie. on the competition. <laughs> Uh, yes, um, I wanted to just explain as well, uh, Riven, my apologies that you've not got your invite yet to the server, it was only because me and Rainstorm have been busy working on this stock and port, but uh, once we've finished, um, Rainstorm will then send you a message with the details. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic remainder of your Sunday. Goodbye.